Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Sister Wives' exes are lashing out. They've got concerns with Cody Brown and they're not scared to voice out. Their disparaging comments wounded Cody. Sister Wives star Cody Brown's been hauled over the coals by his exes, and he may feel like they're going to put him down forever. The patriarch has lost his crown, as he used to be one of the world's most recognized polygamists. Now, Cody's not a polygamist at all. That questionable title granted him the keys to the kingdom. He became recognized, made money, and gained a platform owing to his willingness to put his plural marriage out there on TV. When Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown left him, they didn't go gently. Cody's exes robbed him of the cachet that being the greatest polygamist offered him. He seems to resent this. Sister Wives season 18 star Cody is angry with his exes, but not because he loves them. He's presumably furious because they're endangering his financial future. How can a reality program on plural marriage continue when there's no polygamy? It's a fascinating question. In the newest installment, the Brown family crumbled. Issues that had plagued the Browns for years became deal-breakers. Janelle swore at Cody, while Christine opted to peacefully disengage. Mary mused over her own escape. While the series could go on, the change in circumstances is impossible to ignore. It could finally destroy Sister Wives. The Sister Wives' exes are tearing Cody Brown apart on Instagram. Will they ever forgive Cody Brown? When Three Wives bailed out, a bash Cody smear campaign commenced. All the misery, rage and jealousy that Mary, Janelle and Christine had been suffering with for decades spilled out. The floodgates opened. Now, Cody must feel like he needs to duck and cover. In Sister Wives season 18, Janelle literally unloaded on the patriarch or the cameras filmed, as per the E.T. clip above, which was out of character. Janelle's the practical one, She's level-headed with loads of common sense when she told Cody to fuck off. Janelle was at the end of her rope. She was irritated because Cody thought she wasn't being attentive enough during one of the scariest phases of the COVID-19 outbreak. On screen, as per the video above, she completely blasted him. She was upset because he was calling her out for not following his Ten Commandments. Clearly, as the Ten Commandments example indicates, accepting commands from a patriarch can be exceedingly annoying, degrading, and traumatic. Janelle chose a biblical reference, maybe subconsciously highlighting the fact that the Bible told her to obey Cody. Men are meant to be in command, but are they actually superior judges of anything? Janelle needed to address the question. She was chafing against his leadership, when she did, in a sense, she was questioning her faith. Sometimes, questioning faith can be quite healthy. On Sister Wives, similar concerns altered the less loved wives' attitudes about the patriarchy. Janelle's common sense kicked in. She rejected Cody's orders since they made no sense to her. This was the first domino to fall. Janelle had additional concerns with Cody, including the fact that she didn't have a lot of money, despite laboring to support for the huge Brown family for years. Like Cody, she was previously a Brown family earner. Janelle probably gave her earnings over to the patriarch. Now, according to her, she has very little. After the separation, Janelle kept, expressing herself. She's finally willing to disclose her innermost sentiments, and some of the emotions inside of her are incredibly intense. She adored Cody and feels let down by him, Janelle is unhappy about how it all played out. In reality, as a source informed Oka magazine, she genuinely does care about the patriarch, adding that she would take Cody back. Janelle keeps hammering Cody, and it must hurt. Yes, he's been nasty in so many ways, but he still has feelings. When he sees Janelle's comments, it undoubtedly bothers him a lot. He seemed really furious when they battled on screen in season 18. Of all his non-Robin marriages, it appears like he misses Janelle the most. Shoved out of the marriage by another unhappy ex, Christine, she was the first to leave Cody. 
Christine's also been making Cody's life harder since she joined up with David Woolley. Like all of Cody's exes, she's husband, David Woolley, started a feud with Cody Brown. Christine Brown's also picking on Cody Brown online. When Christine was with Cody, it's like she was living in Elvis Heartbreak Hotel. She was terribly lonely. Her jealousy over Christine was ripping her emotionally, leaving her practically desperate. However, she had enough inner power to say, enough. After she left, she soon moved on with David. Now, Christine and David are married. After they got together, Cody made some statements that irritated David. Christine reported that David called Cody a dumbass. Christine hasn't actually pulled Cody apart, but she's obviously embarrassed him. During an Instagram Live, she wore a blouse carrying the words, I tried polygamy. That went viral, and once again, Cody came off looking like a major league fool who just couldn't please his women. Now, Christine's flaunting off a new life with David, and this may anger Cody too. Everyone who watched the show witnessed how sad Christine was during her years with Cody. Now, unexpectedly, she's happy. Again, Cody appears feeble by comparison. He doled out the penalty, ignoring three wives. Then David stepped in and almost instantaneously made one of those women the happiest woman on earth. Mary Brown rubbed her romance with Amos Andrews in Cody Brown's face. Mary Brown hated the way that Cody Brown ended things. Mary isn't sparing Cody's feelings either. She's made it apparent that her last days with Cody were anything but fulfilling. In fact, she openly complained about the way that they ended things. Cody was a touch too harsh and indifferent and didn't bother having a quiet talk with her before he pulled the plug. Yes, Mary had been pulling away too, but Cody was the one who neglected her for years. He should have cared more about her sentiments when they finally broke up. So, it's hardly unexpected that she shaded him. Mary got her revenge by shoving her new friendship with Amos in Cody's face. However, she probably should have turned down the lovey-dovey posts as her relationship ended swiftly after just four months. Now, she's licking her wounds too. Sister wives' exes are behaving out and Cody may wish that they just be quiet. However, he won't stop talking either. He alternates between attacking them and wanting reconciliation. Cody and his exes are scarred by experience, and it may be years before they stop their cold war. Is Mary Brown a difficult person? Mary Brown has clashed with two men and other people. Mary clearly has allies, like the aforementioned Jen, who protected her. However, she seems to have some enemies too. While she's all about her innocent look, Mary's got a dark side just like everyone else. She's feuded with sister wives Cody Brown, Peyton Brown, Christine and Janelle Brown. She's not as meek and mild as she pretends to be. Sure, occasional feuds are a part of life, but Mary pretends like she never does anything wrong. That's really something that her ex Cody does too. Cody constantly plays the victim. Mary's inclination to feud isn't that well known, but honestly, she has had several conflicts that stand out. For example, when Christine started organizing her wedding with David Woolley, she didn't put Christine on the guest list. That was quite an oversight. Actually, it wasn't a mistake at all, as Christine merely didn't want Mary there. Peyton doesn't like Mary at all. They have bad blood because he thinks she was rude to him when he was younger and unkind to other brown kids too. Of course, if they actually got along, that would never have happened. The issue here is that Mary does seem to have her struggles with other people, but she never really gets genuine about the fact that she stirs up trouble, just like the others. Instead, she acts hard done by. Mary may be blaming others a lot in order to control her story. Other Browns do the same thing. Mary's not an angel, few individuals are absolutely pure of heart. A bit of self-interest generally creeps in, and that brings out the more unpleasant human tendencies, such as greed, rage, envy, and bitterness. Everyone's out for himself at one time or another. If Mary quits acting like everybody else is the problem, and honestly accepts that she may be problematic too, it could be a big breakthrough. Thanks for watching if you like this video, 
Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.